I'm Jordan. I have no idea what I'm doing. And so can you. You're probably confused about MCP. MCPs are brand new and they're very hot right now. Everybody's talking about MCPs. MCPs are gonna change AI forever, people say. MCPs will let you do anything, anywhere with AI agents, people say. MCPs are maximum computer, people say. But what is an MCP? Most people don't seem to know because it is uh, confusing. If you ask ChatGPT what an MCP is, it doesn't know. It will guess, and some of those guesses are pretty funny, but, but all of them are, are incorrect. A company called Anthropic created MCP, so maybe you've gone to Anthropic's website, you've read their MCP explainer, but if you're not a technical person, it's, it's probably not gonna help you. I read Anthropic's MCP explainer, and MCPs were not explained uh, to me. I actually found it MCP is a new standard ecosystem. Oh, traumatizing. So, like every responsible adult, you've come to YouTube to learn about MCP. Good for you. If you're the kind of person that saves passwords on a scrap of paper, or maybe you've been pretending to know what APIs are your whole life, then you have picked the correct video. Congratulations. Every other MCP explainer video I've seen on YouTube starts by talking about REST APIs and STDIO and SSE and IDGAF because I'm not a developer. I'm a vibe coder. So in this video, I'm gonna explain what MCP is in a way that even I could understand. I'm also gonna show you how to use MCPs without writing any code at all. It is way simpler than it should be. It's not even gonna hurt, it's gonna be fun. Let's get started. M <clears throat> MCP stands for, okay, let me Google it. Model Context Protocol. As with all tech product initialisms, knowing what the letters stand for does not get us any closer to understanding what the product does. Hmm. MCP at its simplest is a way for AI tools to talk to other tools. Don't overthink it. MCP is a standardized connector. It's like USB-C for AI. Except you don't have to buy a bunch of new cables when your mom upgrades from an iPhone 7 to an iPhone 16. MCP allows for AI tools like Claude and Cursor and Windsurf to easily connect to popular applications like Instagram, Telegram, Discord, Spotify, Gmail, Google Calendar, Telecom, HubSpot, Microsoft Teams, Salesforce, LinkedIn, Microsoft Outlook, Slack, Stripe, YouTube, Fansport, Stonkwiz, Dogecoin, Facebook. Now you might be thinking to yourself, but Jordan, ChatGPT has been able to connect to Google Drive for over a year, and it's been able to search the web since 2023. Is that MCP? And the answer is no. I, I feel like you're not even trying. Those integrations are built into ChatGPT the old fashioned way, and they take a very long time to roll out. MCP is a standardization. You connect your MCP client, which is your AI assistant, to an MCP server, and the server communicates between your AI assistant and your external apps. Ding dong, doodah, gigabuzz, whatever you want. And you can connect a bunch of different apps to a single MCP server. But Jordan, that sounds boring. That doesn't sound like an exciting new tech thing that's easy to use and is gonna make my life better. You might say that to me, which is rude. MCP is exciting because it empowers AI agents to do stuff on your behalf. Rather than just talking to a chat bot, you can ask an assistant to do stuff, access your Google Calendar, access your Gmail, if you're up for that, update HubSpot, et cetera, et cetera. Your AI assistant can just do stuff that you tell it to without you having to go to any other interface. You can do everything within the AI assistant interface. Really, it's a revolution for lazy people is what it is, and that's good. And because it's a standardization, you can quickly and easily connect almost anything to anything. The possibilities are huge. It's incredible. It's exciting. You should be excited. I'm excited. And that's basically it. That's MCP. Let's get inside and I will show you how to do it because I am really cold. Here's a simple example of what you can do with MCP. We'll cover more ambitious stuff in future videos. So, uh, you know, like and subscribe. We're gonna use Claude, which is like ChatGPT, but it feels a little more human. Let's prompt Claude. Hey Claude, find a good Italian restaurant near me and send my mom a Google Calendar invite for tomorrow at 7 p.m. If Claude is connected with an MCP server to your Google Calendar, then Claude can pick a restaurant and send the calendar invite to your mom without you having to do anything. But you'll still have to show up to dinner because Claude can't take your mom to dinner yet. 
It's coming though, they're working on it. You might think that this is hard to set up, but it is really not. Let's do it together. First, make an Active Pieces account if you don't already have one. Active Pieces is the fastest and simplest way to start using MCP. Active Pieces lets you connect AI tools to hundreds of applications. Go to MCP on the left, and now connect your Active Pieces account to Claude. It just takes a little bit of copy pasting. You don't even have to vibe code. Connect your apps under My Tools. You can already connect hundreds of apps, and Active Pieces is adding more every day. And bada bing bada boom! You now have your very own MCP server hosted by Active Pieces, and you can make AI do whatever you want. Just be responsible, don't do anything crazy, and call your mom. She misses you. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have questions about MCP, we will answer them down in the comments. Thanks.